Hi guys, in this video I just wanted to make a very quick snail. He's made out of modelling chocolate and I'll put links in the description box below to everything that I've used. So I've just started with a chunk of um, modelling chocolate. I didn't weigh it out I'm afraid. Those of you that watch my videos regularly will know I'm not very good at weighing out pastes. I just pick out an amount and work with that. So I'm just trying to roll it into a little bit of a teardrop shape. Now as it's modelling chocolate it does start to get a little bit oily when it starts to melt in your hands. I do usually have fairly cold hands. I'm going to kind of press on kind of either side, pinching it out so that it comes down to my board. So the underside of my snail is fairly flat. Then at the front of it, so which is the bigger fatter end, I'm going to kind of push it upwards slightly. So I'm going to curve my snail. So I've pinched out two little bits just on the front of the face and then I'm going to try and make a little indentation where I'm going to put my eyes. So I'll just get those ready and I'm going to use an impression mat. This one's actually a basketball impression mat but I thought it'd just give me a really nice texture on my snail. Just using a Dresden tool or a pointy ended tool, just draw in a mouth. So it's going to be sad, so a kind of a curve in there. Then we're going to stick on two little pointy bits, kind of moustache area. Just gives them a good squeeze in place. And then we're going to have a look at little bits to just go in here. So this is just my modelling chocolate, two small balls. Squeeze them down a little bit more. These are like the bags under his eyes. And then we're going to put our eyes on. So I'm swapped to a white modelling paste. Now, as you can see, it's, everything got a little bit warm and sticky and so bits of fluff did get stuck in this. So to avoid that, try and put some corn flour on your hands. Then it hopefully shouldn't get as sticky and then we should end up with not as much fluff stuck in it. And I've gone for two different size eyes, bigger and smaller. I want him to look a bit comical rather than realistic. And I've just rolled a thin piece of modelling chocolate and covered kind of half of each ball for the eye in it. So it looks like his eyelids. Then we're just going to take some smaller little balls and squeeze them on his body. So he's got a bit more texture now. I'm not putting it everywhere. Just mainly near sort of the top end of him. You can do this all over if you want. I've also tried popping the piping nozzle in various areas on the body for little indentations and I'm going to use it for the centres of his eyes so I can mark where the eyes are looking. Or you could use a biro lid. So just give him a little nudge in underneath his mouth. So he's very soft so you might find that he sticks to the surface at this point. If he is, just leave him where he is so that he'll harden. And I'm going to use some brown modelling chocolate now. So they're both modelling chocolate, it's just the base of him is white modelling chocolate and we're going to do the shell in a brown modelling chocolate. So I'm just going to roll a long cone shape and we're going to kind of roll that up for this shell. I'm going to place it on his back. Then I'm going to put some lines in using my modelling tool to add a bit of texture kind of coming out from the coil outwards. Just going to use an edible pen for the eyes. So this black one I'm using for the middle of the eyes. Again, I'll put links in the description box below the video to everything that I've used. So once I've done the black in the middle, I'm going to try and go around the edge with brown. So I'm just using pens because it was a little bit messy and quicker for me today. But you can also paint this on as well with food colouring. You don't have to use a pen. So once I've gone around the outside edge, I want to lighten some of the brown. And all I'm doing is taking a thin brush with just a tiny bit of water on and we're rubbing over that black pen. And can you see it just gradually starts to take off a little bit of the colour. So we'll repeat the same on the other eye. So first starting with the brown pen. Once you've got it to the size circle that you want, we're going to go over with the brush, just slightly damp. And can you see it just starting to bring off a little bit of colour? So you have to be quite patient with that. You have to work quite gradually with it. And now we're going to put a bit of colour on our snail's body. So I've got some dipping solution. Or you can use like a clear alcohol or lemon essence to mix with my powdered colour. So I'm starting with a black powdered colour. I've diluted it quite a lot. So it's quite transparent. And I'm just going to paint this over the whole body of my snail. Just avoid the eyes. It kind of runs in between the gaps in the texture. Then next what I'm going to do is add a bit of colour to my snail shell. So I've got black, brown and a white pen. And I'm going to do brown lines, black lines and white ones. So the white lines are going to go anywhere that I want the shell to look a bit lighter in colour. So kind of near the top where the light would hit the shell. And the darker lines kind of along the creases where the coil is and the underneath part. Again, you can paint it if you prefer, but because I got the pens to hand, it was nice and easy for me. If you want to darken the body with the pens as well, we can put a little amount of pen on there and we can drag the ink from the pen. And it is an edible pen, so it's not normal ink. It's like food colouring that's in them. You can drag that out with the brush. Also, if I want to darken under the eyes, put a bit more pen in there. Again, just trying to blend it out a bit with the brush. 
and in the mouth and then I'm going back to my powdered colored mixed with dipping solution to just add a bit more color to my eyelids and I think I might add a little bit more brown to the body as well so just repeating what we did with the black but in brown and then I'm going to use my black pen and just try and go lightly over the edge just the very edge of that eyelid a little bit untidy there I should have really made sure the modeling chocolate was nice and straight on the edge of the eye when I was doing that darkening up the mouth just the corners of the mouth just a little bit darker with a thin brush just going to darken under the eyes a tiny bit or the bottom half of that circle apologies my footage is not the best so just got a small dot of modeling paste very small and we're just going to pop that into each eye and there is all finished my quick snail I love to see what you guys have made from my videos so tag me in your photos of your creations hope you've enjoyed the video thank you for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below you can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now if you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials there are also links in the description box below where you can find me on facebook instagram and more